for that. Which is why, again, there's no one answer for how to stop the problem. Science is tough. What I do believe, though, is that it helps you understand things. Uh, why do we have to keep our uh, mask on? Why do we need to sanitize? Understanding the science behind why rather than just being told to do something. I do have very, very high expectations. I'm known for being in the school very strict because I have everything outlined from September to June, everything date by date, uh, expectations, due dates and everything like that. She has the ability and it's, an, it's something that you set high expectations for students and if they were rating on a scale of one to 10, easy to hard how, where, where they are, they would rate Miss Lau nine or 10 every time. Yet if they're rating that teacher on how much they like them from one to 10, it's going to be the same. And that's something that's very hard to come by. Challenge the students, show them that you respect what they're doing and that you want them to succeed and you truly expect them to succeed and they will succeed and they will love you for it. Truth. Kimberly Lau comes in with, the, I, I, I can't even get the words for it, truly a lesson plan that I don't know how anybody has the time in to put together ever. And this is not done for a single lesson, this is what she does for all her lessons. They are detailed to the point that she knows which students are going to be paired up with whom based on the needs of each individual student. These kids, all really good kids, all deserve the chance. How can I best tailor this for them? I switch their seats every three to four weeks. Um, new partners based on high and low grades. The more they switch their seats also, the more they get to know each other. And that's how I actually get my kids to open up in terms of talking more to me. And there's also certain things you notice about certain students, like um, they're you know, squinting, can't really see. They might not want to tell you, but you know, they belong more in the front. This one's really shy, but works really well with a certain um, group of people. So you have to really know your students in terms of knowing them personally, how they talk to you in the beginning of class, after class, even the, the kids who wave to me in the hallway, like they have to be comfortable with me. She gets them to understand she's there for them. They know that if they have an issue, they can talk to her about it. The National Ocean Science Bowl, it's a buzzer competition. Um, four kids versus four kids from different schools come together and basically challenge the physical, geological, chemical, and biological aspects of oceanography and marine biology. It's basically to spread awareness about the oceans and their condition for the future and kind of preserve that science and knowledge. Mr. Stack actually created the um, ocean science team to allow kids another outlet to show their academic ability. Having fun with them while doing science was amazing and that's kind of how I got into it and then he kind of <laughs> took a back seat. What she has done with that program is outstanding, way beyond anything I could have ever done and because of Miss Lau I've now had the opportunity to see two Midwood High School teams advance to nationals. And this is all voluntary hours but when the kids really really love something it makes you want to try even more for them because it's like you feed off their energy. This year the B team plays third and the A-team plays the first, so we will be representing New York State at Nationals in May, which is amazing, and I'm so happy for them. All the students know that she was a Midwood student. You know, her story is just the story of a Midwood student done well. They always want to know about my life, my time at Midwood. Who's still here? I think it does help them relate to me a little bit more. I was once in their shoes. We have students who come back year after year because they want to visit Miss Lau. They want to tell her what they're doing. These students truly, in their mind, believe that Miss Lau is the reason why they are who they are.